Okay, I am just a few minutes. I'm going to invite some families up here. We are going to do a baby dedication. All right? Now, maybe you've been to a few of these, a few hundred, you know, and you say, oh, all right, I need to be reminded, like, why do we do this? Well, God's granted us so many different things that are ceremonial. We're, we're ceremonial people. If you don't think we like ceremonies, just ask a senior two years ago in 2020 what it felt like not to have a graduation. Like, we enjoy our ceremonies. God's wired us that way. And he's given us these beautiful gifts like communion so we can come every week and examine our hearts. What a gift. I know I need to examine my heart about every six days. And usually I haven't. <laughs> and I need a reminder, okay? Baptism's another one. What a beautiful reminder that we say, you know what, I believe that God's I have faith, but where's that moment where I go public and say it to the world? So baby dedications are like that. We know that we want our children, okay? We know that we want our children to not only grow up in a home that loves the Lord, but a church that loves the Lord. And we know that we are claiming their future. We know that we are praying over them. But where is the moment where we stand before our church body, our church family, and say, this child belongs to God? This child is his, his, her future belongs to him, okay? It's not what I want, first and foremost, it's what God wants, and I want to come alongside what God has for my child, and I want the church to come alongside what God has for my child. So we've been talking about children's futures a lot, and this is really an act of faith for their future, okay? We're going to, these guys are going to come down in just a minute, and we are all going to collectively share and the faith that they're placing for the future salvation of their child. It's an act of faith, okay? Now, I told them this week, I got to meet with the parents earlier this week, and I said, I want you to pray about this moment because this can be a thing or this can be a moment, okay? And Paul wrote, we, we, uh, we, we, we fix our eyes on the things we cannot see, which means we, we pray with faith, okay? So there's something that's going to be happening here physically, but there's also something that's going to be happening here spiritually. There's going to be something happening here that we can see, and there's going to be something happening here that we cannot see. So we're praying for the Holy Spirit to be a part of this moment. We're praying for angels to be a part of this moment. We're praying for God himself to bless the future of these children. Amen. Okay, all right, so I would like to invite all the families who are dedicating their beautiful sons and daughters up this morning, and as we talked about the other day, you guys can just form a line across the front. I'm going to ask you a few questions, and then I'll bring you up one at a time, okay? If you have godparents coming with you, that's fine as well. Make room. Make room. You guys can take a st few steps down that way. Garrett, if you need to, or, or yeah, Lee and Garthrell, you're okay. All right. Man, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Thank you for all of you that are standing with the families. Thank you for all of you that are here simply because of this moment to share in the faith. So I'd like to ask you parents a few questions first, collectively, and then I'll invite you up one at a time, and we will anoint your child, and I'll ask you a question directly, okay? So you can all uh, answer this together. Parents and godparents, the, the child whom you have brought for dedication depends chiefly on you for the help and encouragement he or she needs. Are you willing to give it by your prayers, your example, and your teaching? If so, you can say, I am. Okay. With God's help and in partnership with the church, will you provide your children a home of Christian love and peace to raise them in the truth of the Lord's instruction and discipline and to encourage them to one day trust Jesus Christ for their salvation? I will. Okay. Those who bring their children to be dedicated must affirm their rejection of everything that ruins our lives and a determination to put Christ 
first. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, the Son, and God the Holy Spirit? Do you reject the evil powers of this world, confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, and put your whole trust in Him and serve Him as your Lord? Okay, scriptures say this, I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. For the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. So this last question if you, if you will, you can say, I do. Do you acknowledge that your child's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? I do. Okay. All right. We're going to start with Garrett and Audrina Ballister. They are dedicating Savannah Maybell Ballister. You guys can come on. You can come right up. Yep. That'll help. Hi, guys. So let me ask you this again. Do you acknowledge your child's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? I do. Can I see little Maybell Savannah? Savannah Maybell. Oh, Savannah Maybell. Hi. Hi. I just heard she's going to drool. <laughs> That's all right. That's what this is about. All right. Savannah Maybell, I dedicate you to the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray purpose over your life, and we pray everything that God has for you. In your name we pray. Amen. You want to get one more? You want to get one? Come on. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Seth and Lacey Callahan are dedicating Mercy Rose Callahan. Beautiful names. Do you acknowledge your child's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? All right. Come here, Mercy Rose. Do you want me to hold you? Okay. Savannah set me up for rejection. She was so willing. All right. I'm going to pray. I'm just going to put some oil right here in Jesus' name. Lord God, we pray for Mercy Rose. We dedicate her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We pray purpose over her life. God, we pray everything you have for her. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You guys can stop for a pick. Yeah. You want a pick? Yeah. Nice. All right, Jason and Vonna Kelly are dedicating Jet. Kelly. So he's already had offers from the Gators, the Knowles with that name. <laughs> Jet Kelly. Have some godparents here as well. Do you acknowledge your child's need, the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? I do. I do. Jet, you going to come see me, man? We'll play some ball. We'll throw a ball. All right. Look at this dude. You see that? that? See somebody you know? Say hi to everyone. Yeah, hi. All right. All right. Let's pray for this guy. He might have my job one day. God, I thank you for Jet. I dedicate him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray for purpose over his life. We pray for everything you have for this young boy. 
In your name we pray. Amen. All right, all right. You can go back. You guys can stop for a picture. All right. Gartrell and Lee Milan. What's up? Are dedicating Ledger Bennett Milan. I really like this name. This is a family name, right? Okay. All right. Do you acknowledge your child's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? We do. do you? All right. Okay. Are we going to let Ledger sleep or do you want me to hold him? Okay. Oh, he's awake. Yeah, man. Check him out. All right. God, we thank you for Ledger. We thank you for his life. I dedicate him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and we pray purpose over his life. Father, we pray everything that you have for him, the fullness of your will manifest in his life. Amen. Okay, I can grab it. There you go, man. Don't get a picture of me doing that. Chris and Caitlin Primoroso, they are dedicating Parker Primoroso. How are you guys? Thank you. Did I do the last name well? Yeah, good. Good, good. Hi, Parker. Now, I just, the, I just met these two this week, and they've moved here from Orlando, so they've joined our family recently, and we're excited that you guys are a part of this church. Yeah. <laughs> Parker, you want to come see me so I can pray for you? You want to come here for a minute? Yep. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. All right, I'm going to just touch your head really quick. We're going to pray. God, we thank you for Parker. I dedicate her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray purpose over her life. We claim right now in faith everything that you have for her. Thank you for this family. And we welcome them in. In your name we pray. Amen. Aaron and Shay Schoberg. They are dedicating Elliot Isaac Schoberg. What's up, man? Hi. Hi, Elliot. You want to come see me, man? You want to come see me? We'll make it quick. All right. Here's the dude, Elliot. All right. Let me ask you guys a question. Do you acknowledge your child's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? Amen. Amen. God, we thank you for this young man. We thank you for Elliot. I dedicate him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and we pray purpose over his life. Father, everything that you have for him, in Jesus' name, amen. And finally, this little dude who's been staring me down all week, we have Alejandro Nieto, Anaí Santos de Nieto, and they are dedicating Matias Alejandro Nieto Santos. Huh? She just told me that was perfect. I want everyone to know that. Hi, guys. 
Okay, do you acknowledge your child's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? Yes, I do. We do. do. Okay. Matias, I hope you're going to come see me, dude. Let go of mommy's hair. There you go. (laughs) Hi, man. Now look at this guy. He will stare you down in a good way. Hey, man, look at this guy. All right. He's a lot of fun. We're going to pray for you, dude. You're so social. (laughs) Be a greeter at the door. Hold still, my man. All right. There you are. Gotcha. (laughs) Matthias, we dedicate you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, we pray purpose over this young man's life. We pray everything you have for him. (laughs) In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. guys. Okay. Matthew 5, 16 says this, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your father who is in heaven. So every baby that was just dedicated, we welcome you into the body of Christ and into the mission we share. Now, this is a dedication of the parents, but if you're part of this church, this is also something that you should feel a responsibility for And that we're all saying that as long as they're a part of this church family, we're sowing into these children, okay? You may get to do it with some of them more directly than others, but your heart is aligned, you come alongside their faith, and you're standing with them as they raise these children to love the Lord, okay? So let's just pray that, and then let's celebrate. God, we thank you for what's just happened. We bless this moment in Jesus' name. We thank you for every family. We thank you for every child. And God, I ask that you pray out, you pour out your spirit on them early. Call them early. Find them early, Lord. Let them respond to you early, Lord, I pray. Because it's an urgent time we live in. Call them. Set them apart for your purposes. Let them always know that they're yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let's welcome them in.